Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how you can save money if you need to get another key for your car. Now in the olden days, this being 1994, there were just simple keys that were cut. You could go to a hardware store and get one made for a couple of bucks. But that's not the case anymore. This newer Toyota has a key that you can open the doors and things with, and it's got an immobilizer chip inside, so it will only start if it has the chip. And some modern keys like this one for a 2015 Chrysler, you don't even have a key. It's a remote that you just walk in the car with and you push a button to start the car. These things can cost a lot of money if they break or you lose them. So as usual, I'm gonna show you how to save money. If you have one that has an immobilizer chip and has buttons that open and close it, you can go ahead and buy one of these things online, often they're as little as $15 to $30. Then go to a locksmith where they can cut the key so it will unlock the door. And so it'll actually start the car when you turn it. Now as weird as it sounds, I have a machine that can do that programming, but I'm an independent mechanic and only bonded locksmiths or dealership mechanics can get access to the code. So even though I have a machine, I can't code them myself. And if you ever lose the fob for this keyless entry system, it's gonna cost you a lot of money to get another one made. Which is why you always wanna have at least two of these things. If you don't, and you bought a car used, get another one made at a locksmith, put it in a drawer where you know it's safe so you know you'll always have a good one. You go to a locksmith and save a ton of money. Because of course the locksmiths are gonna charge you a lot less than a dealer for making one of these keyless fobs or the key with a chip in it, and if you lose the keyless fob system, be sure to find a good locksmith. Because I had a customer with a 2012 Prius. They lost the key, and the dealer charged them $567 to make a new key and reprogram it. But when I had another customer lose their key in the Prius, I sent them to my locksmith who travels. He came to his house so he didn't have to tow the car there, and his whole bill was $283 instead of $567. Quite a difference. Just make sure you get a good bonded locksmith who understands modern technology. Because over the years, I've tried various ones and some of them were complete buffoons and had no idea what they were doing. And in that case, when they came to my shop and said, oh, they could do it for 150 bucks, and they tried for an hour and they said, oh, we can't get it to work. I said, well, I'm not paying you one cent. You said you could do it and you couldn't. So you gotta find a good locksmith to have this done. So really, if you have a keyless system or a key system that has a chip inside it, Take my advice, go to a good locksmith if you don't have two of each and buy another one and store it somewhere where you remember where it is so you never have to worry about starting from scratch with a brand new key system. More quick fixes on the Scotty Kilmer channel.